DC fans, are you ready? What's up everyone, I am your host The Breaker and welcome back to my video, and a few days ago, DC Fandome release a video about their new projects coming in the future. Before I say it, please like the video because it won't cost you anything and please subscribe my channel if it is possible. Since What If series is finished, I will be doing videos for the next Marvel series Hawkeye, and I will also do more DC and Star Wars stuffs in the future. So let's begin without further ado. In the DC Fandome latest promo, we see Dwayne The Rock Johnson as Black Adam, who appears briefly in for this year's DC Fandome virtual event. You can see Dwayne The Rock Johnson's Black Adam in a gloomy location that is sporadically illuminated by lightning at the 32nd mark, but he only appear for 2 seconds in the video because we haven't had a trailer for Black Adam yet. There is also an another shot in the trailer. In second shot, we can see shows the crew filming the movie, with the slate front and center. Just behind the slate, we can also notice their first look at Quintessa Swindell's Cyclone, one of the Justice Society of America members in the film. There is also a picture that Dwayne The Rock Johnson shared a photo of himself in a hooded robe from the set of Black Adam on Instagram. He is standing under the light in a full robe, covers everything, but the boots of his Black Adam costume. And I find this edited picture which you can see some of the part. The boots can be seen in a better light in the image, which also teases an intense look on Johnson's face. I hope the suit is comic accurate. I think DC is hyping us with this tease like Marvel hyping us with Eternal in the movie celebration video. I am so happy that The Rock is finally getting his own superhero movie, because the journey to production for Black Adam has been long and winding. Johnson's name was linked to the character in 2007, but the standalone film didn't get off the ground until a decade later. The Rock is cooking some cool scenes in the movie, and I can't wait to see it. Black Adam in this movie might be a villain, or he may be an anti-hero. In 2019, Jaime Calatzara was recruited to direct Black Adam, and he and Johnson worked together on Jungle Cruise just before the DC film was shot. There are no leaked photos or news for the character Black Adam so Black Adam narrative remains unknown. Hopefully, Warner Brothers should release a full trailer for the movie. After all, the movie has been teased so extensively that it would be strange not to offer the public a real tease. However, based on the pictures, it appears that viewers will only get a behind-the-scenes video. Even if Warner Brothers just shares behind-the-scenes footage, fans will devour it, and the hype train will gain even more steam. After all, it's The Rock's first superhero role, so who wouldn't be excited? The film is set to debut the Justice Society of America, which will include characters like Adam Smasher, Hawkman, Dr. Fate, and Cyclone. I know some of you guys are not familiar with these characters, so I am going to explain them. First of all, Adam Smasher. Adam Smasher or Nuklon is a DC hero who alter his size and strength as you see in the Black Adam promo. His real name is Albert Rothstein, and he is Metahuman. I am pretty sure some of you guys know what Metahuman, because you guys have watched The Flash. His grandpa, a reluctant supervillain known as Cyclotron, gave him Metahuman powers of super strength and control over his molecular structure, allowing him to change the size and density of his body. As a result, he was able to battle crime as Nuklon and then as Atom Smasher. Albert was a founding member of Infinity as Nuklon and later served in the Justice League in the comic. His abilities are growth, increased strength, stamina, speed, durability, and formerly density control. He will be played by Noah Centineo in Black Adam. There is also Atom Smasher in the Flash series played by Adam Copeland. Next is Hawkman. I am sure many of you guys are familiar with him because he is in many DC cartoons and live-action TV series. His real name is Carter Hall. Carter Hall was a reincarnation of an old Egyptian ruler who had lived numerous lives throughout history. Later in the comics, his identity was altered to Cater Hall, a member of an alien species of winged troops from the planet Thanagar. Hawkman have Nth Metal Belt which can defy gravity, enhanced strength and eyesight physical regeneration, 
accelerated healing in temperature regulation. Aldous Hodge will take the flight as Hawkman in DC's Black Adam. There is a Hawkman many might know in Arrowverse played by Falk Henschel. There was a leaked news that Black Adam Hawkman will have comic accurate suit, and I hope it is right. Next is Dr. Fate, his real name is Kent Nelson, and he is one of the most powerful sorcerers on the planet in the comic, and no one comes close to matching his ability to perform spells. Fate has extraordinary strength, the ability to fly, mental talents including telekinesis and telepathy, and the capacity to call lightning and fire at will, among his innate mystical abilities. He is able to manipulate time to some extent. He has the ability to travel to both the past and the future, and is able to freeze people in time as well as create a rift in time. Dr. Fate is also so powerful that he can travel between alternative dimensions and Earths in the DC multiverse. He is also able to artificially age people at will. Well, you can say he is a match to Marvel's Doctor Strange. There is a reference of him in the show called Constantine, which the fabled helmet of fate was seen in two episodes, indicating that the sorcerer is really present in the Arrowverse. No one can find trouble faster than your father. Literally. Oh, I put that down, love, before it puts you down. He will be played by Pierce Brosnan in the film. The last member for the Justice Society of America is Cyclone. Cyclone's actual name is Maxine Hunkel in the comic. She is a member of the Justice Society of America and the granddaughter of the first Red Tornado. She has flight and wind manipulation and sound wave control. She is a very appealing character in the comic. This movie will be live action debut for Cyclone and Dr. Fate. She will be played by Quintessa Swindell in Black Adam. I can't wait to see the Justice Society of America in Black Adam, and I hope the trailer come early. There will be a new Batman trailer on October 16, and I will do a video about it. For this movie rating, I think they will make it PG-13, but I would like it to be R-rated. Black Adam arrives in theaters July 29, 2022. There will be other DC movies in 2022 which I will be talking in another video. Thank you for watching this video, I am your host The Breaker and see you again in the next video.